Greetings, we're back with another video. And in this video, this is a different video. This is the Kryptonite Doomsday. And he has hands. Look at them hands. <laughs> Yo, so when I picked this character up, right? I knew it was Doomsday, I knew it was Kryptonite Doomsday, but I had no idea that this is a gimmick that was actually on this bad boy. So yeah, he's a glow-in-the-dark Doomsday. But I like this Doomsday. I really do. And we're going to take a look at it right now. So, if you're out there and about toy hunting, you've probably seen this Doomsday sitting on the shelf. And even though it shares the same sculpt as our other Doomsday and our other Batman Doomsday over here, which I customized, we now have a new Doomsday, which is a more darker shade of uh, gray, which I like, which I wish this was, but... Given characteristics and everything, and when I break down the history of this particular Doomsday, you're going to understand exactly why there's different variations and different versions of them. But this is not the Doomsday that we've all known from the Death of Superman comics. This is a different Doomsday named Joshua Walker, All-American Boy. Now, when Joshua Walker was um, created, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was, uh, I guess he was an ex-military, and he decided to sign up for this special program under um, Amanda Walker um, project. And what it was was that they wanted to create something just as strong as Doomsday from the past when Superman fought Doomsday. It was pretty much like a last-minute, a last minute, like, um, ground zero type of event that if anything was to happen, they would create something that could actually save, uh, protect the citizens of... Uh, the world and what they did was they actually took the dna from the original doomsday and created this new doomsday and now the american boy concept here's the card over here and joshua walker which is a kansas farm boy you know what i'm saying what was interesting about this particular character is it shares the all american boy now there was another all american boy in dc comics if you don't know that was called Kid Knievel. And Kid Knievel was this evil little kid who was pretty much a villain, okay, in the DC universe. And he was just going around massacring people. He was actually a villain. He actually joined up with Joker Squad when the Joker brought all of the uh, bad guys together. And I guess they were doing something. I don't really know the storyline too well. But Kid Knievel looked up to the Joker. And there was one scene in there where he pretty much told Joker that, you know, you are so awesome. Like, he looked up to Joker. And, you know what I'm saying? He told Joker, like, I wish I could cut your face off and actually put it on mine to be you. And Joker just backhand him and was like, yo, kid, get out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's only one Joker. You can't be Joker. Now, throughout DC history, he has appeared again as a good guy. But then he actually set up all the good guys and, you know what I'm saying, pretty much just set them up. Where, you know, he was taken out. A lot of um, good superheroes, like I think Mr. Terrific was uh, stabbed in the back because of him. And once they realized his plot, they pretty much, you know, I mean, they locked him up. They was like, yo, this kid is, he can't be changed. And he was never really seen again. And he was also the American, the all-American boy, because, you know what I'm saying, his time spent with the good guys, he was probably considered like a Robin to this other superhero who was more, like, had this patriotic... Um, you know, costume like him, but overall he was never seen again. And when they brought this particular character back out, nobody really knows if this is him. Did he come back? Did they, was he the all American boy that they're talking about? It's very, very vague on when they created this particular doomsday. And there's not really a lot of screenshots of it that I found on the online, but you can look it up, Kid Knievel, but some are speculating that this could be Kid Knievel because you know what I mean? Before he was human, he was he shared the same name, the All-American Kid, the All-American Boy. But um, I like this particular character. I like the design of it. This character was designed by a um, well-known professional artist from D.C. named Shane Davis. This was one of his concepts. It pretty much is a big, still a big beast as the original one. He has dreadlocks in his hair and everything, you know what I'm saying? But he was a science experiment. So if people didn't know this is not doomsday this shares the same sculpt as doomsday but in the comics this is someone else this is not doomsday overall i like the character 
It goes good with all my several doomsdays. It's a lot of plastic here. He doesn't come with any separate hands or anything. He just comes straight out the box just like this with his car back there. But I like it. It's definitely going to look good on anybody's um, DC shelf if you do want to, you know, dip your toes into the glow-in-the-dark type um, action figures. This is the only, this is like the, the third glow-in-the-dark uh, action figure I got. I don't really get a lot of the other glow-in-the-dark ones, although I'm considering getting that Killer Croc that uh, Todd McFarlane just announced. But um, yeah, I like the character. Doomsday, he'll definitely go well with my um, bad guy's um, shelf. But I really like it. Still has articulated jaws, even though his face is different. As you can see here, he still have the jaw articulation. But like I said, if you've seen my previous reviews before, it's the same thing. So I really don't have to go into too much articulation. You're getting pretty much the same thing as you got here. Only difference is just different colors of shading, different colors of his skin. And he has a brightly um, sharp designed um, kryptonite bone structure that comes out of his body. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're picking this character up. Like I said, he's showing up in a lot of GameStops. I haven't really seen him anywhere else other than GameStop or online. But um, yeah, you should definitely check him out. And I'll catch you in another video in the future. Peace.